we're uh, trying to cast more light and understand better the vertical distribution of the amazing life that we have within the Galapagos Marine Reserve. So one of the challenges within these kinds of expeditions is to try to draw people who have worked in different disciplines so that they can complement different parts of the same picture. Soy ecóloga marina. Estoy estudiando organismos que crean hábitats. I am an ocean research scientist. I study how Earth's ocean and climate have changed in the past. I'm a marine geologist. My work has to do with understanding how submarine volcanoes work. I make maps of which species communities you can find where in the deep ocean. The ocean hosts a huge amount of life, holds a huge amount of carbon, heat and nutrients. It's a really important part of Earth's system. Vertical reefs use the volcanic foundation of the islands and the seafloor to provide the apartment rooms for the corals to grow in. Las paredes verticales tienen un rol muy importante en ser lugares donde muchas especies prefieren vivir. Trawlers go where the seafloor is flat, but they can't troll a net up a vertical reef, and so those vertical reefs are often places where species can survive while in the flat areas they can't. Estamos viviendo en un mundo que está cambiando muy rápidamente y el cambio climático está cambiando las temperaturas en nuestros mares y esos cambios también se ven en zonas profundas. Si no sabemos quién vive allá abajo, no sabremos cómo protegerlo. We are custodians of this planet and we need to be careful with our environment. So that starts by knowing who lives where and only once we know who lives where, we can take care of them. Este trabajo es importante para que entendamos mejor qué tenemos ahí y qué podríamos estar perdiendo si no hacemos un cambio. When we think about an area, we think about a space, so we protect a large space. What we don't sometimes realize is that under the water we have this amazing topography. So you have valleys and hills and mountains, ravines, crevasses. You have places where continental plates are rubbing against each other. And that creates an entirely new space. So it's a big three-dimensional connected area. I'm amazed that every time we put instruments in the water and we have a chance to be able to go deeper than we've been, we always find something new. The ocean is one of the last remaining frontiers on our planet to properly understand. And it's hugely important that we do that if we're going to be able to protect it for future generations.